show you the photos? Yeah, I seen them. Listen, I gotta tell you something. The captain's still pissed about how you let that last guy off the hook, that pedophile. What's he been telling everybody? That I was too soft? What the fuck did he want me to do? Beat a confession out of him? Ain't my style, Jerry, you know that. The guy walked, Cohen. Our boss is old school. He's giving you a second chance with this. He's watching, he wants an answer. So be smart with this one. So be smart with this one. Madden, I'm Detective David Cohen. Was it a Louisville slugger you clubbed him with? I mean, look at this photo. Look at the guy's head. The pool blood around is shaped like the map of Poland. You kept hitting him after he went down. Act of rage, Madden. Something unspeakable. Do you know why you're here with me, Sans lawyer? You've already confessed. However, there were four people involved. You, the victim, your buddy, and another man. Three. Beg your pardon? There was only three of us. No, 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 wait, back up. It was you, with the Louisville Slugger, the guy whose brains you exposed, and another person seen running away. We have a witness. A what? Six-story building across the street. You gonna stick to your story? I didn't see anyone else. You hit the guy. He went down. Your buddy screamed like a woman. Heads popped out of windows. Help me out. I don't remember. Don't remember? It, it could have been... Could have been what? A neighbor, a passerby... Sit straight! Listen carefully. There was an argument. You held a bat. The bat that you grabbed from your buddy Joey Jr., whatever the fuck his name is. You swung the bat. Home run. Your buddy stayed put. The other guy tipped. Two bats. One swing. Four men. Who's number four? Why? Why what? Why is it so important? It's your testimony. Your buddy's no good to us. He's, he's in shock. Mentally not. I can't speak. Tell me something. Does he live in the building? Who? Number four! I told you. It was just me and uh, Junior and Mikey and Tommy live there. And their girlfriends. Now him too. Or Paolo. Yeah, him. <laughs> You're knee deep in shit. This is a possible accessory here this number four. Help us. Help yourself. Give me a name. I can't. What's the big deal? You want a lawyer? What are you afraid of? Give us a name. You had nothing to do with it, okay? I'm an owl. Who? Who? Number four! We got the creme de la crap in those cells, Madden. That what you want? Hell no. Then talk to me, buddy. Tell me about the bomber jackets. Start from the beginning. Could you do that much for me, Patrick? I could do that, yeah. It was me, Tommy, and him, Rapallo.
Tommy was a real charmer. Always cheating on his girlfriend, Deborah. Always at the park. We own that park. I think you are rough. I think you're an idiot. I don't even know that guy, okay? He yeah, just have... Why are you sitting with him? Yeah. I don't even know. Bye. You know what? It's kind of working. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, I've been like growing up in this neighborhood my entire life. I mean, I was around when they put up that Abraham Lincoln statue. I remember that shit. Those were fun times. Watching this whole entire thing happen. Like, Oh, that's what this is about? We could smell the fumes coming from the smokestacks of that power plant. Not a day went by without hearing the screech of trains rolling by. For a big city, it felt just like a small town. I work now and then with the Super One doing this and that. Yeah, we were like a team. And that meant something to me because I got respect. I was king shit because any day I'd be taken over as landlord, the building we lived in, the, the building my father owns. Where is your father? In a hospital bed. Doctor gave him three months bad meat in the can. Anyway, my, my mother, she was the one handling the rent. Is handling the rent. I need to call her. So it wasn't a gang. Gang? Shit, Puerto Ricans got gangs. Chinese and blacks got gangs. No, we just found ourselves protecting things like the guardian angels. Only the guardian angels protected people. We just protected the hood. Protect the hood from what? Come on, Patrick. Mikey and Kim couldn't keep their hands off each other. I never saw two people more in love than Rapallo and Angie. If Angie only knew what was coming. Then it happened. I spotted them first. Two faggots had moved into the building across the street, but we never actually took it seriously. Not until we saw what we saw. Raymond's new to all of this. He's my, um, como te digo, my, my homosexual padawan. You're a godsend. You're a breath of fresh air for this neighborhood. You have brought style and class to Calvin. Oh, style. Yeah, we've been so low on style lately. There's been a whole lack of style. It's disgusting. out here. I mean, what's here? There's nothing but basketball courts, sports bars, and auto shops. It's like the opposite of Disney World out here. I'm bringing so, him, and I he's gonna to have a blast, I promise. Who's she talking to? I could use a fierce makeover. Do you like make dresses and stuff? Yes! <laughs> oh, can you do my hair? I'm very bored with my hair. Oh, and my crib could use a facelift. You should come take a look at my crib. Up, bro. <laughs> in the park, you can smoke oh, yes. in the park without getting a summons. Holy, you see that? We could, like, sign a petition or something. A what? For each two? God damn it! I thought you found me entertaining. It's like he's a game show host. I wish my husband was gay. You know, all he does is just sit around, scratch himself, and play cricket. They took over the village, right? We get it. They can have that. To come in our neighborhood, turn our women to fag hags. Mincy prancy little fuck. What's he saying to them? It's so entertaining. I'm not having it. It was like blacks moving into an upscale lily white neighborhood. Things got really tense. It's strange how I remember that.
Look, I can't see around corners, so I'm not able to tell you much about what went on with my tenants. He just came in. Yeah. Bye. You think one day you could just come in and I crack open a beer? All that yeast. How long have we been married, Angie? What? How long? Two years next month. Because when I married you, you could fit to a size nine. A nine, Angie. Since then it shot up to a 12. You wanna bring up yeast? Work eight to 10 hours a day and stuff the office with a bunch of people that I hate. I wanna come home to somebody that resembles the person that I married. You wanna talk about yeast? Okay, so is that the reason you don't want to be seen with me no more? Oh, you're quick. What's the problem, Francis? Don't call me Francis, it's Frank. Something I gotta tell you. What is it? You met someone? We're being invaded. Invaded? By who? No kiss, que pasa? Tommy? Yeah. We were going with that church down by Sib Avenue. And Puccini's for the reception, something my dad can afford cheap faster than he is. Whatever. Hey, Biscuit, what's with the mope? We're not having second thoughts, are we? It's just... Just what? The neighborhood. It seems to be changing lately. Like? You notice more men moving into the neighborhood? Oh, shit, yeah, man. Can't wait to meet him. You're in trouble. Where you been all this time, Kim? All this time? I've only been away for like an hour. And who are those guys are talking to? You saw me talking to some guys? When was this? And where were you standing that you couldn't come over and say hello? What? Interrupt the conversation between you and those 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 guys? Are you jealous? <laughs> Why would I be jealous of flaming faggots? What? I don't know. You were, you were pretty entertained by them. They were like, sick for your Roy the way they kept you so amused. Did they have names? Ramon and Raymond. Just moved in. Moved in where? The building across the street. What's with the questions? We're not married, you know. I can talk to whoever I like. But why? Them. Why not them? They're funny. They like my clothes. When have you ever said something nice about my clothes? You gotta see them again? I might just do that. Maybe even convert them. Don't make jokes like that. I can't believe we're having this conversation. God help me if I should ever talk to a straight guy. Forget it. I will. The hell's gotten into you? I still don't even know why I moved out to this part of the city. Because you want to hang with the boys, that's why. Well, yeah, but I mean, you run the shit, I got a life to worry about, you know? Life will come at you eventually. It's too young to worry about that. Just have fun, man. How can I have fun if I'm working every fucking night? See, that's why you get a girl to move in with you. you split the rent. Half the cost, half the problem. You think it's that simple? It's working out for me.
Do you live here? Oh, I, I own it. This? No <laughs> kidding. Must be Jewish. Not a chance. Where are you from? Philly. I just got in yesterday. I was living with my sister, but her boyfriend made a clumsy pass at me. How much? Be generous. I am working my way through college. For you, nine fifty a month, bug free with a wonderful view of a brick wall. What's your name? Pat. Really? <laughs> it's my name too. But I prefer Patrick. Can I see it? Super must have changed the lock. Uh, why don't you give me your number? I'll, I'll give you a call whenever I get the keys to apartment 1F. I'll be waiting for your call. When I wasn't hanging with the guys, I was getting heat from my stepmother. I was a child of divorced parents, and man, she never let me forget it. You fixed the flood in the cellar? I did the cellar, I did the hallway, I'm whipped to shit. Mrs. Isley has a leak in the faucet, and the Goldbergs could use a new toilet. Everybody could use a new toilet, Ma. Why can't the super do it? He's got enough shit to do. And I've got news for you. You're not the landlord yet. Your father's still alive. Well, I gotta run things. No, you don't run things. I run things. When he buys the farm, that's when you'll run things. Yo, Ma. This is cute college girl looking for a crib. She, she could take the empty one downstairs. Apartment 1F, that's taken. I didn't see nobody move in, Ma. <sighs> that's because you're too busy hanging with your pasta. Did you meet him? No. He gave your father a two-month deposit, but it didn't move in until last week. Well, Dad never told me nothing about it. How could he, Patrick? He's in a coma. I meant before. I'll see him tonight. That's what you said last night. He's only a goddamn father. I can't look at him. Well, you can't just hang around here. Go get a job. Do something with yourself besides play. A a job, like a nine to five. Or is that too much to ask? You know where the word faggot comes from? Well, those British guys, when they ask you for a cigarette, they ask for a fag. It's because back in the day, when they used to burn them at the stake, it was the word, another word for kindling. It's still to do today. Take all those fucking faggots and throw them on a big barge. Just light them all up. Have them all fucking screaming up to the heavens. <laughs> hey, wanna? For me? Because I took care of the flood for you. Man, wanna keep making my life easier. That's what I pay you for. Why your mother pays me? Uh, listen, who's the new guy in apartment 1F? You should know, you're the landlord. My mother doesn't tell me much lately. So who is he? Have you seen him lately? I'm saying him. And His name is Martin. Marty who? Marty Cohn. Guess what moved into 1F? No. Yeah. Get out of here. My mother boy loves keeping me in the dark when it comes to renting out rooms. I had to hear from the super. What are you going to say to him if you see him? What am I going to say? I don't know what the fuck I'm going to say. I just want to see what he looks like. How come we never seen him move in? Maybe he works late. Uh, it sucks dick for profit. Maybe he don't want to come out. Shh. What's the matter with you? I mean, there goes the neighborhood. Cancer spreading. Go in there and knock on his door. You knock on his door. It's your building. It's your building too. You've been sitting out here all day with your dick in your hand. My dick in your mouth is what I had. Well, guess what moved into 1F? No. Yeah. No. Get the fuck out of here. What are you doing? There's nobody inside. I can't believe you knocked on her door. Well, I ain't no pussy like you. Patrick, for all you do, this bud's for you. Wait a minute. What is it? I think I hear something. Come on over here, listen to this. What's that sound like to you? Music? Yeah, I must have left the CD player on. Sounds like the same shit my ex-wife used to listen to. This Judy Garland crap or whatever. Judy Garland? She's their pinup girl. 
Like they're queen of pain. Like they got a corner on pain, these maricones. These kids live in this building. Meaning what? We gotta call rap, man. Can you stick around? <laughs> nah, dude, I gotta go to work. So you knocked on his door? Loud enough to wake up a corpse. No reply? No reply. He's cruising the village or Times Square. <laughs> yeah, Times Square is all busy now. Fly down in the village telling all his friends, come on, come on. Yeah, what's the name of that street? Gay Street. First time I saw it, I thought I was hallucinating, but no. There it is, Gay Street. I ain't waiting around all night for this prick. Me neither. So let's do this thing. This is just the beginning. Not in my building, it ain't. Yeah, how could you be so sure? Because it's my building. Yeah, it's your building. How the fuck it end up moving in there? Hey, I told you what happened. Man, it's late. Whatever. Look, I say we do this. Let's get Joey and Mikey involved in this. Cruise the area tomorrow, midnight. Why so late? Because when they come out of the woodwork, these queers. It's like when you turn on the kitchen light at 2 in the morning, there's cockroaches everywhere. And then one rap. I told what I can remember. All loose ends. Look, I. Yeah? I don't want to talk anymore. Well, that's too bad. Because I'd hate the idea of locking up with some serial killer sex no, deviant. Fuck no. I'm listening. Okay. Let's begin when you first saw the guy who moved in. But I want to go on record, okay? About what? The guy who moved in that apartment was not a homo. Definitely not. Write it down. It was just... some guy. Poor Angie didn't know shit about anything Rapallo did when they weren't together, which was often. We went to the park that one time. We were so spooked we didn't know what we'd do with a faggot if we saw one. Over there. On the bench? Nah. How can you tell? Too sloppy looking. Queer's dress indeed. Over there, by the fence. Look at that haircut. What kind of... What kind of haircut is that? It's Vinny Batolo. He likes Prince, so he dresses like him. Oh. Pat, you didn't say word once since you got here. Do me a favor, don't call me Pat. Pat, Patrick, what's the difference? Pat's a girl's name. So a girl moved to the 1F, huh? It's definitely a woman. It's more like it. Most definitely. Look the super was jerking there. She cute? She's gorgeous. Going, yo. Too bad I'm happily married. Save me a piece. I'm between girlfriends. I ain't saving you shit. You gonna talk to her, Pat? Uh, Patrick? Over there. He's walking his dog. A poodle. An itty bitty poodle. It's a pit bull. It's like a poodle, man. Pit bull. I know a pit bull when I see one. Which is a Tommy? Pit bull or a poodle? It's a pit bull. A poodle. Hey, sweetheart! Over here! Go back to where you came from, you faggot! Plane carrier! God bless Pat Robinson. Curb your door! And now I can go spread the word to his faggot tribe. Come on, let's go. What's the matter? It felt good. Pat. Let him go. What the fuck we need his mopey ass for? I'll talk to him. His dad's in the hospital. His mother's been giving him shit lately. Right, I gotta hear it from Angie now, this prick, too. Hey, we lose Pat. We're down to you and me. That's two people. Two people? That's Cheech and Chong.
My stepmom had one visitor, the water meter guy. I'd go to my room and lock myself in just so I wouldn't have to listen to them. I guess that explains why our water bill was so low. I avoided rap. If I saw him near the stoop, I'd turn and go back to my room. Not fun, my room. Mikey. Mikey just made things worse for me and for Kim. I felt responsible. What the fuck are you doing? What you think I'm doing? I'm waiting for your boyfriend to show up. Get the fuck away from there! I just wanna have a talk. What? You wanna have a talk? When do you ever just talk? I just talk. Talk with your fist? You want me talking with. Oh, you hit me in public? What? Do it! Hit me in fucking public! Do hit me in fucking public! See what happens. Keep talking. You gonna go beat up some guys that never did nothing to you? Because you're a drunk, alcoholic, stupid bitch, and no one else will have you. Did you notice if the bus passed by just now? No. I I mean, yes, I think. I think I think yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Wait again. You live here? <sighs> yep. It's been what? A week now? Apartment 1F. 1F. Right. Why? Yeah, well, I was under the impression a guy lived there. Is that your real hair? <laughs> you ask an awful lot of questions, dude. No, it's a cocker spaniel. Of course it's my real hair. You know, if your eyes were laser beams, I'd be in pieces by now. It's just you ain't exactly everyday shit around here. <laughs> no kidding. What's your name? Like, who wants to know? Where are you headed? Why? What you mean why? I'd like to know who my tenants are and what they do. I half own that building. Well, good for you, Mr. Half Owner. Maybe you can help lower the rent. We like to keep track who moves here. I'm a law-abiding citizen, honey. What are you, the afterhouse police or something? The who? I'm going to the ball. Okay. The who? Sounds like something out of a fairy tale. This is no fairy tale. I am to win tonight. Win what? You are so Jersey. Educate me. Win the pretty girl category, okay? There's categories, if you must know. How? Well, just look at me. You think I'm just another basket case drag queen, don't you? I've never met one before. You know what I am to you? Gossip for your buddies. Those guys you run with, the jocks from hell. They all act alike, talk alike. Wait, wait, have they seen you? <laughs> mm -mm. Not yet. You fooled me for a second. What do you mean? You fucking fooled me. I thought you were the real deal. <laughs> what? Until you heard my voice. Yeah, I'd say it was a dead giveaway. Yeah, well, I um, I need to correct that one of these days. <laughs> oh, what, your vocal cords? Among other things. Well, why? Why? What? Don't you like being it, a guy? A guy? Really? <laughs> Let's think about this. Would I dress like this if I enjoyed being... A guy? No, no, you sure shit don't look like no guy. <laughs> but you say that to all the boys. Is that a joke? <laughs> Is it? Because I ain't gay. <laughs> Relax, you old hetero you. You think I'm hot stuff, huh? 
wouldn't say you were hot, but yeah, in my eyes, you're most definitely. Ah, uh, well, that was a strange thing to say. What do you mean strange? What was strange about it? Because I think you meant it. <laughs> Would you say your name was again? Pat? Patrick. Uh -huh. So tell me more about this ball. What is it? A bunch of guys trying to outgirl each other? <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, no, no, look. Seriously. It, it seems like a decent way to spend your leisure time. Huh. That's all you seem to have leisure time. I mean, what do you do? Stand around storefronts, swapping bullshit stories, talking football. I don't follow sports. Yeah, liar. That's true. I couldn't even tell you who won the uh, Super Bowl. <laughs> the Packers. My favorite team. <laughs> There's my boss. Um, wish me luck. Break a leg, Joe. Whatever. <laughs> You're cute. See ya. So you went to bed, then what? Nothing, just went to bed. What were you thinking about? Not having a job, a, a real one. What else? That's it. It was either find a job or hear it from my stepmom. All I had was my shitty high school diploma. How'd it go? It was a nice to remember. We're gonna get our asses kicked. But you agreed to this. Yeah, I know, but it's not going to work out. How can you say that? These girls are attracted to us. Yeah, because they think we're gay. Well, that's the whole point, Ray. Hello? Yes, but you see, we'll never get to bang these chicks. I mean, don't you see the paradox? What's a paradox? Look, we couldn't get laid in Brooklyn as straight guys, okay? They won't even look at us twice. But they're flocking to us now, buddy. But the bottom line is, we, we can never get laid with these girls. I mean, don't you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Not really. Not really? What's with all that faggotese and swish, huh? I mean, not all gay guys are swishy, okay? Pick the name like Ramon. Ooh, Ramon. How European. I mean, that pink shirt, give me a break. I mean, listen, we're never gonna get laid. We're gonna end up in a hospital. This whole neighborhood is crawling with haters. Not get laid? Bullshit. What do you mean? You know that Indian girl, that Ashta, that Gupta, whatever the fuck her name is. What about her? Well, I banged her in her apartment. No, don't fuck with me. I banged her twice, and she said you're next. Tommy, it's Patrick, give me a call, man. Sleep. I have it in talents, you know. <laughs> like what? I may be a fashion institute of technology dropout, but I've learned enough to hold my own. I just need a better sewing machine. You make your own clothes? I've tapped into the semiotics of dress, spite my choice of handbag. How do you like, earn? 
I sewed garments for Calvin Klein wannabes on Fashion Avenue. Okay. It's my day off. I, I didn't mean to pry. I was... And it pays the rent. Plus, my daddy left me a chunk before he, um... Can I ask you something? No. What? Were you serious before when you said you'd... Uh-huh. You know... Yeah? That. Oh! <laughs> you mean the big laugh off? <laughs> I'm no pre-op mentality. No, sir. But you know, it's when I'm alone that I get these thoughts, insane daydreams, like one day becoming the whole woman, meeting the whole man, being catered to, adored by, spent for. And then I snap out of it. Because it's a sad trip, Patrick. I mean, you know, that whole scenario, it's... The post-ops, they're the saddest. Yeah, I envy them. You... What? How can you envy someone who, who cut off his own... Uh, half of them couldn't even get it up. I mean, you know, it's, they're totally dysfunctional down there. But they're free. Free? Even if their nerve endings can't relay the message to their brain, they're free. <laughs> but no plastic pussy for me, thank you. <laughs> Got the best of both worlds, I imagine. I, um, I haven't had sex in a year. A year? I can't even be like most men and make love to myself. I mean, I, whenever I hear the expression, go fuck yourself, I get melancholy. <laughs> Am I embarrassing you? Aww. You got a honey? You mean a girlfriend? Yeah. Does she live with you? Oh no, wait. You live with her mom, don't you? <laughs>
Look, Michael. I'm tired of this life. I got no friends here. I wait tables at night while you're out with those assholes looking for trouble. You don't understand what's going no, on. No, baby, you don't understand. There's a world out there. It's crashing in on you and it's scaring you. Yeah, I don't want to hear that, all right? Yeah, that's right. Just hit the wind instead of talking it out like, all of a sudden I can't form an opinion on anything. No, I thank God we're not married. You're a grand old flag. You're a high-flying flag. Tommy? Who said you could wear that? I, I, why can't I? Where'd you get it anyway? I bought it, okay? I bought it. Uh, I mean, God forbid I should use your razor. You didn't have to have a conniption. Just leave me alone. What is it, Tommy? Headache? Indigestion? Is that why you left work so early? I quit. You what? You quit your job? You want me to repeat it? Why? I just said, leave me alone. I can't believe you quit your job. That was a 65 a year starting you just threw away. Tell you what, you get a job and support me for a goddamn change. Support you for a change? What the hell are you talking about? I pay half the goddamn rent with you. Where's my dinner? Dinner? It's 11.30 in the morning. Where are you going? Hi, ha. Tell me something. If I was to stay next to your honey, would it emphasize the illusion or shatter it? Quit your job? No, man, that was Tommy. I work nights now. So that's her, right? What's she doing over there and you're doing over here? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Are you just talking to her? Oh, wait a minute. Wait just a fucking... What's the matter? Holy shit. Dude, it looked right at you. It? She was standing there she? when I came up. What are you getting at? She? Patrick, how could you be fooled by a she-boy? That was the girl you told Raph about? What is it with this Rapallo shit? Who the fuck is he all of a sudden? He still owes me two months. You're drifting from us, man. You're missing the overall picture. Look, what makes you so positive that's a he? How can you ask me that? Did you catch the size of that Adam's apple? Look, look, he was pretty enough to be mistaken for, uh... Pretty? Patrick, tell me something. Now look me in the eye. What was it doing over there and you over here? How the fuck should I know? I came outside and there she, he was. Take out your pack. What? Take out your pack, come on. Out and see. Fuck you. I'm asking you to please take out your pack. Marlboro. Marlboro. Okay, Colombo, we talked. What about? It just so happens I was issuing her a warning when you interrupted. We were just talking, okay? Just talking. I guess we all got a side to us nobody knows, right? What the fuck is that supposed to be? We've got a meeting tonight at the club. Me, Rap, and Mikey. Yeah, that's right. Crazy Mikey. And we aim to clean this community up with or without you. Come on, Junior. It was just a fucking I mean, what cigarette. am I supposed to tell Rapallo? What do I tell him? You're the one that's afraid of him. Tell him anything you like. Hey! 
You let him talk you into doing anything. Hey, hey, anything. no, no, fuck you with that. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And if you don't show, we'll all know what the deal is, won't we? What are you looking at? Go to your mother. Did you see your father? Yeah. Does he ever open his eyes? I don't think he wants to. I think he's afraid I might show him the bills. Ma. You owe me a hug. We don't hug like we used to. Ma. I'm scared and I'm lonely. And you gotta hug me. Please? You haven't been using my pills, baby, have you? No. Don't lie to me. I used one. You made me sick. The guy from 1F left this for you. Erica was up here? Who's Erica? Well, when was this? About an hour ago. You were dozing. I didn't want to wake you. There goes a superstar. There walks Erica and her perialis. Don't ask me about the ball. No sooner do I start when he goes, he goes. No, honey, uh-uh, that ain't gonna do it. Wrong color, wrong moves, wrong, wrong, wrong. Sweetheart, if you're gonna wear a Perry Ellis on Fifth Avenue shopping spree, you do not, I repeat, do not carry some raggedy ass imitation leather Macy's handbag. You're there to spend money, not shoplift. They ain't gonna show. You sure you told him? Sure I told him. Seven sharp? At the park, yeah. And he heard you. I made him repeat it. It's not gonna look good for him not showing up. Like he's here, man. He's I pacing know, man. around. I know. He's getting on edge. It ain't fair. He'll show. You say he might have uh, commiserated with this uh, abstraction? Yeah, I believe he did. You say it was, uh, what's the word? Uh, Fraternizing with that manner of speaking, yeah. But you didn't actually... Didn't actually see him talk to it? No. But as far as you're concerned... There was a rapport. Yeah. How do you explain something like that? I can't. Maybe he can. Yeah, if he shows up. He'll show. This was he, uh... Does he look like, this girly boy? Like a bad haircut. The worst. These girly boys. And they're the drugs, all of them. Bringing all sorts of men in their apartment. Gives me douche chills just thinking about it. So you ever, uh, you ever talk to a tranny? A what? A she male. You ever get close to one? Fuck no. Never have, never will. Yeah, well, I have. Get the fuck out of here, you. Don't you ever repeat this to no one. Ah, sure, nobody. Nobody. When was this? <sighs> it turns me pale just to think about it. Okay, so what happened? There she sat. I say she because that's what I thought at the time. I sat in the corner and checked her out. My mind registered hooker, so I forgot about her. Well, I must have caught her eye because next minute she was sitting next to me. There's a rule I don't covet it, pat the pussy, but 
This one looks pretty. It's like real soft in the dim light. Yeah. And? Went to the hotel. It's all dark, sleazy. Kissing and shit. And she started stroking my basket. It was action in my shorts, no lie. I'm a muff diver. So I dove. I must have blocked out with rage, because next thing I knew, I was lying on the bed with a mouthful of blood. Dick still hard. His eyes closed. I could have killed him. Kept wiping my mouth over and over on the way home. All the mouthwash in the world. Okay. So it was an honest mistake. What? I mean, it fooled you, right? It was a trick of light. So that gets me off the hook? I guess the guy. Fucking man. This is no peck on the cheek, man. This is eye up to the socket, French kissing. I'll live with that shit for the rest of my life. Listen, I know Pat's your buddy. I'm thinking he's got his own ideas. What are you saying? It's no reflection on you. No, I'll straighten him out. Yeah, if he shows up. He'll show up. And if you don't, then he's out. My man, he's already out. What are you saying? What I'm saying is if he doesn't show up, I'm gonna go after that girly boy of his is what I'm saying. He'll show. Okay, so you found yourself drifting from these bomber jackets. Yeah, well, it was getting silly out of hand. The whole fag bashing thing. Yeah. Then what? This new guy who His moved in. His name was Eric. This Eric person, he took an interest in you. He gave you a book. Is Eric the one they were after? No, I told you Eric was just a guy who moved in. I'm still in the dark about how you got to be friends with this guy. He seemed like an okay dude, um, a regular guy. What do you mean by regular guy? A regular guy? What the fuck do you want from me? I'm just trying to fit something together here because you're hiding something. You're holding back on something. Am I wrong? Well, I can't remember everything, can I? Okay. So you become neighborly with this Eric. And you have no idea whether or not he's gay. He was not gay. Let me finish. You break off from your buddies. You're bored with them. Your mother's breaking your balls. This guy, Eric, comes along. Why do you keep bringing he him up? He comes along. You become friends. Somehow, Rapallo and Tommy get the idea. It wasn't Eric. What are you getting at? It wasn't Eric. I made him up. Made who up? Eric? No, the tranny. I get it now. You threw your buddies a curve. This transvestite didn't exist. Never did, no. Does Eric exist? Absolutely. And Eric is straight? Goddamn right. So when did you realize Rapala Mike? Not until the thing exploded. So Rapala Mike and Junior were under the impression that a transvestite lived in that apartment. The transvestite you invented. And that's when you had to warn Eric. Yeah. And as you say, the thing exploded. There are other people out there that would gladly take his place. Yeah, you definitely deserve Because, you know... Or maybe we can not. take him along with us. Of what course. Oh, he needs... Honey... Rap got Junior and Mikey to help hand out these ridiculous pamphlets. They were part of this crusade. Anyone who lived in the area got these pamphlets. I mean, 
they were standing out there like the SS, handing out this shit. And she picked the wrong time to interfere. Did he whack you again? I asked him what he was doing dressed like that and and what all those pamphlets were about. And then and then I took one and I started reading it and then he did what he did. Jesus, Angie. Debbie, he keeps telling me that I'm fat and I'm not fat, Debbie. Whoa, I, I, I don't see myself that way, so what's he talking about? Hey. What's he talking about? Shh, you sound like a movie of the week, you know that? Debbie, he's up to something. I don't know what. He wants to hurt people. I've never seen him like this. I don't know what to do. Tell me what I should do. Okay, thank you, Kim. What was that about? I want Rapallo out of here. You tell him that. You tell him to pack his shit before I call the cops. What happened? He's making trouble. He, he's, he's trying to start shit with my tenants. So you go down there and you tell that motherfucker he better haul ass before I call the cops. I don't need what, troublemakers in my building. What's he doing? <laughs> oh, what's he doing? Well, he's... What? I have a right to rent my rooms to anyone who can afford them. You tell him Look, that. relax. Just take it easy. You want to be a landlord? Here's your chance. Show some balls. Or do I have to go down there and tell him myself? What the hell is that, Ma? Hey, fuck, are you listening? She's got a husband. He's in the hospital. You hear that, fucker? I catch you in here when I get back. You're gonna be joining them. No, not a fucking word. Yeah, keep walking. Keep walking, you jiggle out. Doing here. Erica, get the fuck in here. What was that about? <laughs> What's it to you? I mean, why are you following me? I think you should move out. I'm sorry, would you repeat that? They'll hurt you. Who? Your Gestapo buddies? Look, it's gonna be bad out there tonight. They're gonna be carrying bags. Okay, so I'm supposed to just pack up and split? They're really? out to hurt people. What country is this? Pulling in 39? I mean, did I just step off a time machine or Erica. something? Erica. No. Uh-uh. Okay? <sighs> I like my room. My body's in that room, honey. Look, you know, my these creations. guys are not fucking around. They mean business. Okay, so they don't give a shit. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay, but what is it to you? I mean, what is it to you? You warned me. 
the red coats are coming. <laughs> you know what? You could stand in a corner and watch them taking turns slapping me around or rubbing the lipstick off Stop my mouth. It. Or, Stop it. Or you can be my man and stand tall for your woman. I see a fairy tale ending to this, Patrick. I just came to warn you. I stand warned. Now leave me alone. My knight in shining armor. Give me a break. No, it's true. Your profound courage. Come on, sit. No one's gonna jump you. <laughs> Not yet. I was kidding. It was a joke. Come on. Turn on the fucking light. Feel that. Feel what? Top of the line at the K. The best money can buy. What else you been buying lately? What do you mean? I saw what that drug dealer gave you. Drug dealer? <laughs> oh, you're funny. Drug dealer. <laughs> well, then what? It was hormones. For my titties. Are you playing with me? Hormones? No, I'm not playing with you. God damn it, Patrick. You know, you risked your neck walking me to my boudoir. Wouldn't you think by now you'd stop being so shocked at my lifestyle? Hormones. <sighs> Come on. Try these. Here. No. A sports bar. There's a toilet in the back room. You can change in there if you can stand the smell of Lysol. Try what on? These? Yes! My very own couture. Um... Would you want to get drawn first? No. This is wacky. I'm a bomber jacket. Well, there's the door, lover. We're a tandem now. I create... We create... With flair. With style. We set the scene. Comprende vous? You know something, Patrick? You are so much better than your buddies. They wouldn't think so if they saw me here. You really think they would hurt me? They get drunk enough they'd knock over a baby's crib with the baby in it. <laughs> they don't scare this little girl. That's what I'm afraid of. I mean, it's not like we were doing anything. Nah. We're just talking. Sharing dreams. Thanks for the book. Hey, Patrick. Yeah. Let's you and me go to the ball. Hmm? Tonight. Yeah. You can be my chaperone, my bodyguard. <laughs> Everyone there will assume I'm gay. Heaven forbid. Do you want to leave? Do you, Patrick? No. Ugh, come on. Try these on. My creations won't come alive until somebody wears them. Come on, Pat. Drop the penny. It's Patrick. Oh, goody. <laughs> I'll change in the bathroom, okay? <laughs> yeah, maybe you should. I'm liable to lose control. It was a joke. What's this about? You think I was fucking with you about what I said before? You want to refresh my memory? You walk out the door with that bat. I'm gone before you get back. I can't not go. What do you mean you can't not go? If you're going to be stupid enough to join that creep you're so afraid of, then I don't want to be a part of it. I'm not afraid of yes, him. Yes, you are. Don't start with that. This has got nothing to do with it you. It has everything to do with me. I live with you. Help me something. Tell me, where does it come from? This bug you've got up your ass about homos. I don't get it. Explain it to me. You do that? Walk out on me? First you quit your job because your boss is queer. Then you're coming home late more and more. Now you want to hurt people? I can't live this way. If I come home and you're not here, I'm locking the door. You mean it? Don't test me, Debbie. Not tonight. I won't be here. Tommy came to his senses. 
She took off with Deborah, and we never saw him again. This is what put Rap over the edge, I think. What the fuck am I doing here? This is a dream. Get out. Get out! Oh my, oh me, oh my, oh my. You look, I mean, did you ever? It's a perfect fit. My color theory for the world to see. Oh, turn around, would you? You don't suppose I'll get shot wearing these outdoors, do you? Honey, walk down any street on a hot summer night in Soho. This ain't Soho. That's why you're going to the ball with me. <laughs> yeah, pass. Huh? So there you have it. So there I'll be, without my new friend. Somehow the idea of being stared at by a bunch of queers doesn't exactly appeal to me. Ha! <laughs> Fat chance. Only the superstars get nervous. Well, someone around here might notice us. Oh yeah? Like who? One of your Nazi youth buddies? Your mother? <laughs> you know, just what is it with you, man? You know what? Forget it. Uh, you know what? Let's not lay this all out on me, okay? We are worlds apart. Yeah, no kidding. So where do you stand? What's on your mind, Patrick? <laughs> I thought these were fake. They're as real as the moon in the sky. I spent hours on them. <laughs> You're gonna replace my bulimia therapy. Soft. Maybe you should stop this. I don't want you running off. Nobody's nobody's running. You're a lady. Well, I feel like one. Soft. You've got the right touch. Baby. What are you doing? Step away from the door. You think I don't know? Don't know what? Step your fat fucking ass aside, Angie. What's the matter? Afraid another faggot's gonna move into our building so you need a bat to scare him away? What are you taking their side all of a sudden? Who are you, friend of queers? I'm trying to keep you from going to jail, you stupid jerk. Are you kidding me? Have you been to the park? You seen the things they're doing in the park? In our park? What things are they doing? What? What are they doing? What, you mean the whole time you're gossiping on the phone with your stupid Yenta friends you don't know? What they do behind a bush is their business. Oh yeah, see, so you do know, but it's all the same too because all you care about lately is stuffing your fat fucking face with donuts and sausages. Well, what am I supposed to do? Go another wo on another one of those bullshit diets so you can ignore me? I'm so sick of you coming in and pretending I'm not here. I'm tired of it. Yeah, keep it up. I'm your wife, you fucking asshole! Hey, keep it up and give me a hard on. You wanna know something? You can't even rack anymore. You can't even what anymore? Forget it. Go with your buddies. Never leave your buddies behind. Is this supposed to be funny? Let me tell you something, Heifer. I could still get it up, just not for you.
bro. What the fuck's the matter with you? There's a 12.15 and a 12.40 to Manhattan, lover. Which one should we scram before? Y you go wait outside. <laughs> Cause, lover, I'm gonna shock and amaze you tonight at the ball. I'm going for a new look. The one category I know when and you're in the inspiration. Glad to hear it. I'll wait outside. Patrick. Yeah. You okay? I'm good. You know, because all we did was... I don't like, want to talk about it, okay? You kiss real good, lover. You kiss real good. Yeah, just, like, don't bring it up anymore. So you want to wait for me outside? Is that it? Yeah. I'll, I'll be on the stoop. Okay. I'm still holding the bat, man. I mean, fucking look at me, yo. Can you believe that shit? I mean, look at me. I'm still holding the bat, and there's fucking cops everywhere, man. Feel that shit, huh? How fucking awesome oh, is that, man, huh? Oh, man, dude. I fucking feel great, my man. Fuck, I feel like a Attila. You know what I'm talking about, man? Fucking hell, dude. Holy shit. Yo. Yo, man, what the fuck happened to Mikey? Where's Mikey, man? That fucking pussy fucking ditched out. Oh, shit, man. Fucking Patrick, man. Yo, 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 you gotta let me talk to him. Yeah? Talk to him. Yeah, I wanna talk to him. Fuck that.
Whoa, shit. Yo, Pat. Where you been? What's up? Where were you? I just fell asleep. It's falling apart. This guy's sleeping. What's happening, man? Nothing. I just went to bed. Yeah, with who? Look at me, Patrick. Leave me alone, Junior. Are you fucking listening to this? Unbelievable. Where is he? A fucking she boy. You got something in my bed? Did you plan on using that bat? Just call her out here and walk away. Hold on, hold on. Your wife, go home. What kind of fucking man are you? What kind of man are you? How you hit a woman? Don't worry about it. Just fucking move out of the way. We'll take care of everything. Yeah, seriously. Step aside, Patrick. I'm not going anywhere. That's my girl. And we're going out tonight, and nobody's going to say nothing about That's it. your girl? My girl. Your girl? Yeah. Let me check out his pants. Pat, are you going someplace? Yeah. Yeah, what? Yeah, I'm going someplace. With him? With her. Him. Her. Jesus Christ. My man. We just want to talk to him. I already spoke to her, so fuck off. Spoke to him? About us? Yeah, and she's staying put. Shooter, you taking this down? Yeah, we'll change his mind real quick. It's not a he! Shut up about that, she's you She's my girl! Patrick. What did you do? I guess you weren't ready for this, huh? What the fuck did you do? Come on, Patrick, we're gonna miss the bus. I, I don't know you. Where's Erica? Gone fishing. Are we ready to roll? Kids that live that building, junkie. I use it for my hormones. Talk to the man, Patrick. What's he talking about? Put your little shit you got stashed up in there, huh? Who you selling it to? Why don't you come in and I'll give you a sample? Stay the fuck away from her. You want to watch people? Go ahead, but you stay away from my girl. Here's what you do. You go back inside and you bring out my girl. Patrick. It's you they want, not her. You understand what I'm getting at? They can't touch her. Tell her everything's going to be all right. Tell him I'm waiting for. Don't want him. But he's lost it, Junior. You already signed? Oh, no, no. I want my Patrick. girl back. She's gone! You're not listening! Let it go! I don't know you! I've never seen you before! Then let me go! Not till I see her! Patrick. Fucking suck this cock. You're fucking tell by looking at you. What I did in that room was with a woman. A woman! So you go back and you bring her out here, faggot. Tell her I'm waiting. Don't make me do that. Bring her out! Don't make me do that. Bring her out! Patrick, put the wood down. Ain't nobody gonna do nothing. Rap, let's get out of here. Nah, fucking hit him, Pat. Save me the trouble. No, no, no. Put the bat down, Patrick. Just put the wood down. Rap, let's go. Fuck that. Why don't you go back in there and fucking close the doors with him? Huh? Go back in there with him one time and I'll go away. I'll be fucking gone. Huh? Go back in there and suck his fucking cock and I'll pay you every cent of back rent. What's my name? Fucking Pat. What's my name? What are you doing, Patrick? Say it! Say my name! Fuck you, your fucking name! What's my name? Patrick! My name is Patrick! And I'm stepping out with my girl. Her name is Erica. Erica! Now say it! Say my name and say hers too! Say it! Say it! What's... What's... Oh, shit. Comes to what? What do we have here? What do I tell the captain? Coming to the aid of a, a, a what? A friend? What? Pretty big risk, wasn't it? For someone you hardly know. Who's Eric Patrick? Who is he? Why can't you tell me? Shouldn't have called me that. Called you what? 
that. Maricon, because you kissed a man, the cells are filled with men who kiss men, Patrick. My mind went black, just black. I, I couldn't stop. Look at me. No. I've been in cell blocks where the straightest guy fell prey to passion. A look here, a touch there. Lonely, heterosexual men. No. Men who love women like yourself. Miss Patrick, I got news for you. Gay men don't generally sleep with she males. They don't even like them. That's the paradox. Gay men love men. That's some female illusion. That's a whole different ballpark, guy. Do you understand that? So Eric's number four, right? And he's out there somewhere, a witness to a murder, and he's scared. And sooner or later, with or without your help, we'll find him. And you'd still have to face him. Let Eric help you, Patrick. That thing that you said that, uh... That I'm... Take your time. I'm, Take your time. I kissed a man. Why? Because he excited me. Because he made me feel good. And the notion of that was so bad you needed a baseball bat to defend it? Yes! Yes! Does that make sense? Yes! I'm listening. His name is... <laughs> Eric Velez. He lives in apartment 1F. Lives alone, parents. One dead, mom. Who knows where? He just moved in from the city. He saw and he ran, and that's it. If we find him, you'd have to face him again. Yeah. Do you understand? Fuck. Jesus, God, what the fuck did I do? <laughs> My life ain't worth shit now. Not if we find Eric. The question is, can you face him again? Can you? Yeah. Let's go.